Today we're looking at the recent Clark and Racing adoptions and we're looking at the Arionio GPS data tracker which we put on the horses when we gallop them. It gives us lots of excellent feedback like speed, heart rate, recovery, stride length and stride frequency. So to start the session, turn it on like that and then we can come over to the horse, scan its microchip. So the two blue lights mean it's now recording. It sits neatly there in the hollow of the girth so it picks up a good reading at the heart rate. The beauty about having the tracker on for a set piece of work like this is the horses are going out to do a very regimented piece of work and it's important that the riders maintain the right speed at the furlong so the tracker when we get the data back will be able to tell us how fast they've gone for each furlong, whether they've gone too quickly or too slowly. We can then match that to the horse's recovery and then the next session if we feel the horse needs to do more or less depending on the data we've got back we can alter its training regime. So here's Sidearm coming in off his gallop now. We have a look at him, have a look at the way he's breathing, look at his recovery, his breathing rate. And then when we go back and look at the data, we're able to marry that to the visual interpretation that we have and see whether the, the data backs that up. Here we have Sidearm in front of us again, having a cool down walk after his little gallop. We like to keep the tracker on for five to 10 minutes after they've galloped to get the full profile of their heart rate recovery as they cool down. As you can see, he's pretty calm and relaxed now, visually, to the eye, which would indicate that he's recovered pretty well from his gallop there. But when we go back to the computer, we'll see the full profile of how quickly his heart rate recovers, and that'll be able to tell us whether he's ready to step up intensity and go to a soft jump out, or might need another gallop just to, uh, just to increase his fitness before he goes there. We can go to the live app. It'll just give you the heart rate, not the full data, like the stride length and st stride frequency, but it will give you the heart rate on recovery. So you see here, sidearm's heart rate has returned to about 80 beats per minute at the moment, and it looks to be fairly level. He's dropped down to 78 now, which is uh, which we're pretty satisfied with that he's, that he's recovered from his gallop and that his fitness is quite good. Were he to be walking around and still quite elevated, um, we'd, that would indicate that he's not as fit as we thought he is, but he's showing no signs now that he has taken any ill benefit from that gallop just before. So it's time to remove sidearms tracker now. We just hold down this button to complete the session. It beeps to let you know that the recording's completed, and then later on we'll go and upload that to the computer um, and be able to analyze the data. So we've got Sidearm's profile from the session here this morning. You can put in what track they work on and then um, that helps you compare how they've worked on different surfaces, different track conditions, things like that. You can also input the rider. So you've got a historical record of which rider has ridden which horse on a particular day and see if there are any, you know, if a horse goes better for one rider according to the data or, or less, less ably for another. Especially, it's especially important on grass tracks to put in the grade of what you think the track was running that day, whether it was slow or whether it was fast, uh, because that's important in drawing comparisons when you look back on the data historically. We can scroll down and it will calculate for him the profile of the intensity of the work. So here he spent two, two minutes 41 in his anaerobic zone, which is up in his maximum heart rate which means he's had, a, he's had a decent gallop and a little bit of effort. Let me scroll down here. And we can look at his, his speed throughout the gallop and also his heart rate. So he's gone out and had a trot here. It's warmed up a little bit and he's gone into his gallop. Very steady heart rate building as he approached the finish line, 224, and then coming back down as he slows down and goes for his recovery walk.